I'm Erin Kyle. I'm the Editor-in-Chief of the AORN Guidelines for Perioperative Practice. The updated Guideline for Prevention of Unintentionally Retained Surgical Items provides guidance on preventing retention of surgical items among surgical patients, including recommendations on such topics as accounting for surgical items, preventing retained device fragments, reconciling count discrepancies, and using adjunct technology during manual counting. According to the guideline author, Julie Kahn, the reasoning behind changing the title in this update was to clarify that items are not retained intentionally and to create alignment with how other professional organizations refer to this topic. Readers may be wondering about things that are intentionally left in the patient, such as therapeutic packing during a trauma procedure or a stent and other items such as biliary or urinary stents where implantation was intended only for a short period of time. Any sponge retained from the use of therapeutic packing after the wound is closed is an unintentionally retained surgical item. And items that are retained in the patient after they are intended to be removed would also qualify as being unintentional. Four new recommendations were added around taking measures to prevent retention of intravascular device fragments. A standardized checklist for insertion of devices with guide wires should be used and should include a two-person verbal confirmation that the guide wire is removed and intact. Distractions are also a big issue here and they should be minimized. This update includes a new section on negative pressure wound therapy uh, foam packing devices that are intended to help prevent retained foam pieces used in dressings for these devices a standardized procedure to communicate the location of and removal plan for foam pieces used in an open wound with this kind of device should be implemented. Retained soft goods continue to occur despite manual counting processes and the use of radiography during count discrepancies. Adjunct technology is needed to help improve the accuracy of manual counting procedures for soft goods by verifying the outcome of the count or helping locate misplaced soft goods.